Hey guys, Mike here and today we're having a look at the iPad 4 which is the new Retina iPad that was launched here at the end of 2012. Uh, the box is quite large, I don't think it's larger than the one we had on the previous iPad and we're going to unbox it. We have here the 16GB Wi-Fi version, the black, the black model, it will also come in white as well. Okay, so let's get rid of all this plastic and let's see what's inside the box. Okay, just some padding here to protect the iPad and the actual tablet, nothing changed, it's basically nearly identical to the iPad uh, 3, but we'll have a look at this a little bit later. And let's see what's inside the box, you have some paperwork, the manuals, you have some information about the iPad over here. Um, you should go ahead and read, the, read this and you'll understand a couple of things about this device. And uh, okay, the power brick, it's actually slightly bigger than the new one. It's a 12 watt USB power adapter and of course this is the European plug. Uh, in the US you have a different plug and in the UK a different one and so on. And there's this, it's the new lightning cable because the new iPad actually comes with a lightning charger. No longer with the previous uh, bigger 30 pin adapter and this is basically all nothing else here inside this box okay and now we're having a quick look around the device let's get rid of all this plastic uh, like i said this is the black version and it's the wi-fi only version so there will be a couple of changes if you're going to get the white one these edges here are going to be white going to have the 4G version, you also have a nano, a nano SIM I believe or a micro SIM slot card, a uh, slot for, for, for a SIM card and in here you're going to have the antennas behind the black plast uh, plastic part. Okay, uh, let's have a, look, quick look at, a quick look at this, uh, you have uh, an aluminum uh, unibody here with the Apple logo here in the middle, uh, one speaker here on the bottom. On the sides over here you have the volume rocker and this uh, latch for, for locking the screen. You have the, the camera, the front, uh, the rear facing camera. You have the power button, you have a microphone over here and you have the headset jack. On this side there's actually naf nothing but on the 4G version you have the, the SIM slot over here. And on the bottom it's actually the, the, new, the new thing, you have this, the new uh, a connector for the lightning port. It's no longer that big 30 pin adapter that uh, we used to have on the iPad 3 and all the other iPads before. Uh, besides that it's basically the same 9.7 inch on top retina uh, resolution. You have the volume the home button here on the on the bottom sorry for that and you have the rear the front facing camera here on top with some light sensors and the front facing camera is actually better than the one on the iPad 3. Okay, so now we're going to compare this one to the iPad 3. Okay, so now we have the two iPads. Uh, I don't know if you can tell me which one is which, but I will tell you this is the new one and this is the older one, it's the iPad 3. Of course the two are identical, the same back design, the same layout button, the same, uh, pretty much the same weight. Uh, same screen but there is a slight change and this is the adapter here on the bottom you can see the lighting adapter on the new version and the slightly bigger 30 pin adapter on the older version and there is another change you have a better front facing camera on the new iPad 4 than the one on the older device. Of course uh, the changes are mostly inside. This one is built on a newer platform it's a lot faster it's more efficient so it should uh, it, uh, while it is faster, it should run for pretty much the same uh, time. You get the same battery life out of it uh, as uh, you used to get, uh, to get on the iPad 3. Um, but it will be faster, it will play games better and all, this, uh, all these things. Okay, and now we're going to power on the new iPad 4. And uh, I'm going to go to the setup, I'm not going to, to keep you waiting. Let's just wait for it to power on. Okay, and now I'm going to have to actually set it up. Okay, so we're ready to go. Let's unlock it and it's the same 
iOS interface, nothing's changed here. Um, like I said, the same Retina display is going to look great when reading websites, when reading text. So nothing really that fancy here. I don't think I have Wi-Fi activated on it. But uh, we're not going to focus uh, on uh, any of those details right now. But more details will be available in the reviews and in the comparisons that we'll have on our channel. So make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon.